This may pass as another cooking activity in an urban kitchen. But for Priska Wanjiru, it is a source of satisfaction and pleasure as the blue flames from her gas cooker warms up the reality of a dream come true. Wanjiru, a retired teacher, is a tea, coffee and dairy farmer in Gasharagaine village in central Kenya. She has always had a passion for clean and safe energy for domestic use, a dream that remained etched in her mind throughout her 35 years in the teaching profession. I went for a, for a seminar of farming and in a certain home I found a biogas plant and I tried to dig more about it. The need for clean energy prompted her to attend seminars and training sessions organized by the International Cooperation for Sustainable Development of Germany, GIZ, on promotion of biogas energy in Kenya. Animal matter. Animal chochote ambacho the training marked the turning point as she no longer needed fuel wood for energy. I talked to the people in head office and when I invited them, they came at the measured and they told me that it is easy since I, did, I had the zero grazing. Wanjiru and her husband have built a 16 cubic meters biogas plant in her farm that supplies energy all year round with little maintenance. Yeah, I was getting tired of buying gas, gas in cylinders and all that. That is the one which actually made me first think seriously about it. The couple has become an inspiration to many farmers in the village who occasionally pay them a visit to sample the benefits of the biogas plant installation. Across the district in Karatina, another farmer, Pauline Nyagudhi Mwangi, is all smiles as she demonstrates the various ways in which she utilizes the biogas energy in her home. Pauline says the idea of biogas energy was born out of the realization that wood energy was not sustainable. She sought advice from friends. She was short of money to install a biogas plant. She approached Equity Bank for startup credit. Today, Pauline is the happy beneficiary of the biogas initiative that has enabled her to access clean, safe, low-cost energy she now uses at her home in Kiawarigi village in Karatina. Pauline has also benefited from Equity Bank's livestock insurance product for her cattle, whose dung is a necessary ingredient for biogas generation. <laughs> The biogas energy enables Pauline to prepare fodder for her cattle through a chaff cutter connected to the biogas supply. She therefore saves on petroleum which she would otherwise use to drive the cutter motor. In the house, biogas provides enough energy for lighting with the use of special lamps connected to the electricity supply. An electric spark ignites the lamp that glows when gas is released. Sasa, mi kasi nafanya na biogas. Napika na biogas, ata maute, nini, shakula ya ngobe, na inafanyua tu na biogas. Although there are numerous benefits of biogas energy, its uptake in the country has remained low. A consultant from biogas promotion at GIZ, Richard Karani, urges Kenyans to consider financing for the worthy investment in a biogas plant. It is not expensive. The option, the, the without biogas option is more expensive. The access is the issue. And now with financial institutions whom we are collaborating with in the program like Equity Bank, uh, farmers are able to access capital as long as they are able to institute systems of paying back those loans. Biogas is a renewable form of energy that is obtained when animal and plant matter decompose to release a gas used as clean energy that is safe and environmental friendly. The Equity Bank GIZ initiative provides a cost-effective energy solution to livestock farmers practicing zero grazing. <laughs>